the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord chapter 23 verses 1 to 12 addressing the people and his disciples jesus said the scribes and the pharisees occupy the chair of moses you must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say but do not be guided by what they do since they do not practice what they preach they tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders but will they lift your finger to move them not they everything they do is done to attract attention like wearing broader flatteries longer tassels like wanting to take the place of honor and banquets on the front seats in the sunak courts being greeted obsequiously in the market squares and having people call them rabbi you however must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi since you have only one master and you are all brothers you must call no one on earth your father since you have only one father and he is in heaven nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers for you have only one teacher the christ the greatest among you must be your servant anyone who exalts himself will be humble and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted this is the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters today we are going to reflect on this readings first reading from malachi second reading from first thessalonians and the gospel from matthew all these three readings speak about only one theme that is practice versus preaching second humility versus titles first one practice versus preaching we preach we talk many things as jesus said in the gospel people say so many things speak so many things promises so many things but coming into practice nothing that's why our politicians not only here even in india in india all our politicians when the election comes oh what a beautiful promises they give us so beautiful promises attractive promises but once they come into power they forget coolly they forget same way we too in our life sometimes we do the same we speak so many things we promise so many things but we coolly forget to practice that's why once the parish priest of a particular parish was preaching like me standing here when he got annoyed with his parishioners because for many years he was seeing the parish people say one thing and do one thing saying one thing and doing one thing so he asked people to read his sermon who are all want to go to heaven who are all want to 
go to heaven please stand up so the whole crowd stood except one man because he was sleeping so asleep so second question he asked okay be seated who are all want to go to hell who are all want to go to hell the friend who was sleeping and he heard the last word please stand up so he stood up and the parish priest asked him my friend do you know why you are standing the man said i don't know father but one thing i know you and i are standing <laughs> so, my dear brothers and sisters if you want to go to heaven our words and practice must go together we can't say one thing we can't do one thing that's why god has created the tongue tongue such a way it is well protected well protected do you know in the world the powerful weapon the powerful weapon that destroy the humanity do you know what's the weapon tank this very dangerous weapon that's why god has protected with the two main gates one is teeth another one is lips so we cannot pull out the tank my dear brothers and sisters so today jesus tells what you say do it what do you do say and the second humility versus titles humility versus titles today people like to be called by so and so so many titles so many titles they want to be called and they want to be so proud to say i am so and so my family is so and so i from this kind of family all kind of titles and honor these styles whoever humbles himself will be exalted whoever humbles himself will be exalted yes my dear brothers and sisters how mother mary humbled herself that's why he was so exalted that's why we have so many titles for her so jesus tells don't go beyond titles you live you are like in humility the titles will come after you one day i was asked to bless a lady who was in the hospital admitted for delivery so after the delivery they called me for blessing so i went for blessing i saw her the hospital having three children beautiful children in one single delivery three children so i got surprised so i asked her hello my dear how is it in one delivery having three children and she so humble enough to say father i love holy family i always pray to holy family so they offered me three children and i told her better you have not prayed before the apostles my dear brothers and sisters today 
God has blessed with so many blessings, so many blessings, beautiful children, beautiful family, uh, beautiful husband, beautiful wife, so nice. Mm, he has blessed with so many blessings. Always he is blessing us. But do we accept all those things in humility? Sometimes pride occupies our mind. We are so proud. That's why God's blessings does not stay on us. It goes away. So my dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus tells us, what you preach, practice. Humility must overtake the titles. Can we live the life of humility? Can we live what we preach and what we preach? We practice, let us think for ourselves.